If you want to learn how to measure and plot temperatures, build wireless radio controllers, use servos to drive tools, or build weird things like, I don't know, a thermal camera, here you'll learn mechatronics in minutes. I've often had the need to enter information such as IP addresses or even passwords. With the Adafruit display libraries, they gave us a neat keypad example, but it was missing letters. I went ahead and expanded upon that idea. This library includes two classes, the first for number pads and the second is a full keyboard. Let's see these two classes in action. The example that I put together has three examples. First is a password. As you guessed, just enter in a numeric number and it'll do the rest. Notice how I've hidden the negative sign and the decimal point. If you get it right, you can move on. Number pad, you can enter in numbers, negatives, and with a decimal point, so you can edit things like floats, longs, ints, you name it. Here, I'll just enter some random numbers in to give you an idea of what the ease of use looks like. My personal favorite just might be a full keyboard. You have caps locks control. You also have full special characters as well. Let's enter in some data. Hardest thing is watching me type. How about this is cool with a couple of exclamation marks. What do you think, folks? Is this a pretty useful library? Let's see what it takes to implement this. I'm going to use a slightly different example, a much simpler version, so we can focus on exactly what the implementation is. First, you're going to need to include some libraries. This library is built on the ILI 9341 underbar T3. You'll also need to have a font, and because this is touch screen, you're going to have to have a touch driver. And of course, include my keypad library. Typical defines for things like the chip select, the, R, the reset pin, and a few other things. I'm going to be using an Arial 16 point font because it fits really nicely on these buttons. Create your display object, create your touch object, and then pass those two objects into the keyboard library. There are two classes, one for a keyboard and one for a number pad. The argument list is the exact same. Fire up your display, Fire up your touch, set the background if you want to black, and then initialize your two keypads. The argument list is kind of long because there's lots of color control, but once you set it up one time, it's pretty simple to do. The argument list is the same for either the keypad or the number pad. Then, when you want to get user input, just call a get input method and the code will display the keypad automatically for you. It will stay in a loop until you're done by hitting the cancel button. Then, depending on the class, either you use the data property or the value property. Well, that covers this week's lesson. If you learned something, give me a thumbs up. If you have a tip to share, leave a comment so my subs can learn more. Thanks for watching.